Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. Thanks for joining me today. We are now entering the most exciting time of year for me. I love spring. It's the sign of rebirth. And although we're just fi finishing up that first week of March, it's official in another couple of weeks that spring has arrived on the calendar. But this is the time of year when I can see all kinds of signs of it. Uh, animals that are normally hibernating or migrating have emerged from their dens or started to make their way back. And uh, it's been really exciting to be able to see signs like that. Tomorrow's temperature is somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 degrees Celsius or higher. So that'll probably melt away a little bit more of the snow and we're gonna have rain, so that'll wash away some of the snow. So what it makes way for is animal courtship behavior. So animals are on the doorstep of heading into their breeding season or their nesting season. And uh, that's very exciting for me. Yesterday, Shannon and I just celebrated our 11 year anniversary. So that was exciting for us. And looking ahead to the next few months, we have really awesome trips lined up for our camping season. Uh, the biggest part of it will be our trip to Newfoundland. And we are from Ontario. We've never been to Newfoundland. So we're really looking forward to that. And we have other camping trips booked as well. So. I'm excited that we have all of that in the air, and I hope that you continue to join me not only today, but for the rest of the season. And this is why I always scan any sort of uh, ridge that I'm walking by. And right now I can see, gosh, at least three deer looking back at me.
So being out here on my hike in the rain doesn't bother me. As long as I have the proper gear on where I stay dry and warm, that's all that matters. And I've made sure that my camera's nice and dry. So this is the one with the telephoto lens. And then the other one isn't weatherproofed. So I just keep it in that, uh, in that case so that if I do have some nice scenery, that I want to take a, an image of, I can just pull that out and it's all ready with the uh, microphone on it. And the other thing is, um, you know, I have my ice cleats on and the reason is there is still some snow and ice in the forest, although a lot of the trail has become muddy. That makes it extra slippery. So, but there are parts where the ice, which was compacted from heavy use over the winter, is uh, rather slippery in the ice cleats. I carried them in because I went through a lot of mud to get to the part where I needed them. And then uh, I now have them on my boots. So this is what the forest looks like. <laughs> and this is what I look like to be in this forest. So I've seen some deer out here already. I'm just uh, really enjoying the peacefulness of being out here in the rain. I've only passed two other people. I knew that it would probably be fairly quiet in here today. Um, and so I thought maybe the chances of seeing animals so for some good wildlife footage might be a little bit better. And uh, I didn't capture the deer today. I've videoed them on other occasions. But uh, anyway, I'm going to stay put because I just uh, enjoy listening to the sound of rain. Well, given the rainy weather, I haven't had my camera out a whole lot today, but uh, I'll tell you, being out in the rainy weather adds to the peacefulness. It really does. Um, yeah, it's a lot quieter out here. Animal-wise, uh, hiker, hikers are uh, absent, or there's only been a few that have passed. Um, what I really like is with this melting snow, I can sneak through the woods a lot more quietly. Uh, when it was minus 10 and minus 20 degrees Celsius, the snow had a really loud crunching sound, which sounded awesome on the videos, but it wasn't very good for sneaking up on things. So this has uh, some give to it. And as I say, the temperature's around the freezing mark right now. So, and there's parts of the trail that don't actually have any um, uh, any snow cover. It's just down to the leaf litter and the mud. So anyway, it's uh, been a real pleasure being out here on the trail today. And I'd like to uh, add that variety to my lineup of hiking and being able to provide you with some interesting video content. So Mother Nature's signals are rather loud and clear. We can tell that spring is definitely in the air because I'm looking at some birds that have been migrating back to the area. They're in flocks. Uh, so we see some robins. Yes, I realize I was videoing them back in January, <laughs> but 
Um, there's also some migrating robins that are here. I've been videoing some cedar waxwings, and those are interesting birds. Um, <laughs> I can hear a flock of red-winged blackbirds. Now they're kind of mixed into the forest, so it's a little bit harder for me to capture uh, individual birds, but I'm gonna keep trying <laughs> and hope that I can, if you recognize their sound, you can hear them just calling in the background here. But uh, yeah, there's so many interesting things going on right now. It's exciting. It's exciting to be out here in the woods, uh, even though it's just the middle of March. I mean, the temperatures are warm enough that I can basically go without my uh, gloves on all the time. Uh, temperature today is probably just around the freezing mark, but that's a real, that's a nice warm spell. I just had a major thrill being able to see a coyote today. Um, today is March 9th, 2022. And uh, actually another um, photographer was out in the field and uh, told me about this sighting. So this is a coyote that's just sleeping or re relaxing during the day. Uh, they are mostly nocturnal. However, they can be active any time of the day or night. Um, but this is just resting during the day, which is often what deer do during the day. So, because this animal's fur is so white, which would be great camouflage for the winter when there's lots of snow on the ground, and because there wasn't much snow in the area of its chosen um, resting spot, it was easier to pick out. You can see that the field around me has a lot of snow on it. Um, but there's lots of patches of brown and uh, just, you know, brown and, and bare dirt. <sighs> that was such a thrill for me and I didn't want to disturb it. Yes, it was watching me while I was videoing, but I didn't want to frighten it away. And uh, I have such respect for nature. And as much as I know it can be challenging to uh, root for the predator when the predator is capturing prey and I've shown you some evidence of that on some of my previous hikes um, for those of us who eat meat uh, as far as the human race goes I mean the same sort of thing happens with uh, the food that is on our table right that something dies in order for us to be able to eat so anyway that is uh, an amazing sighting of that predator, the coyote. I hope you are as thrilled as I was of, by seeing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 